we can find unknown factors, variables like n or x. Now remember, a variable is just a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount. So if we have a word problem or an equation, and we don't know what the amount is that's missing, we just put a letter of the alphabet, a variable, in its place. We multiply factors together to get a product. The 3 and 4 are factors. The 12 is the product. And we can find unknown factors by using division. Why? How? Well, because division is the inverse or opposite of multiplication. So what if instead of the 4, there was an x or an n there? and we needed to figure out what it was, what that value was, to equal the 12. When a number is next to a variable, that means to multiply. This is the coefficient, that's the variable. 3n equals 12 can be thought of as 12 divided by 3 equals n because we go the inverse direction. We do the opposite of the multiplication. And then 4 equals n. We know it's a 4. We can also draw a fraction bar underneath both sides of the equation, and this is the coefficient. We divide both sides by this coefficient 3, because remember, fractions are just little division problems. Well, we end up with 3 over 3n equals 12 thirds. Well, if you have three parts of a candy bar that is cut into three parts, you have all the parts of the candy bar. You have one whole candy bar. So that means we have 1n, 1n, and it's going to equal 4. 12 thirds simplifies to 4. We don't need to write that 1. We can see there's just 1n. If there's more than 1, like 2, 3, 4, 5, well, then we'll write it in front of the n. But when there's just 1, you won't see it written. It'll just be the variable, OK? So now we know n equals 4. So the number in front of the variable is the coefficient. And he can even be a fraction. We can have a fraction coefficient. We've got 2x equals 8. We can reverse this as 8 divided by 2 equals x and know that it's a 4. But we can draw a fraction bar, divide both sides by this coefficient 2. We always do it by the number that is next to the variable, not the product. We get 2 over 2, which is a 1, x equals 8 divided by 2 is 4, or 8 halves is 4. 3p equals 21. 21 divided by 3 equals p. That's a 7. We divide both sides of the equation by this 3 coefficient and get 1p equals 21 thirds, which simplifies to 7, or 21 divided by 3. We have 8y equals 40. We divide both sides of the equation by this 8. We get 1y equals 5. Now this one's a little different. We have 2n equals 1. Our product is 1. It's smaller than that factor. We divide both sides of the equation by this 2 coefficient. We get 1n equals a half. See that? Now we know that 2 over 1 represents 2. It's the same thing. So if we have 2x equals 8, we can use the multiplication property of equality, which says if we multiply both sides of an equation by the same amount, both sides will remain equal. They'll stay balanced. So instead of 2, we're going to write it as a 2 over 1. We're going to write our 8 as an 8 over 1. And we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the same amount. That amount is going to be this coefficient flipped around as its reciprocal. Now, reciprocal is just a flipped around version of a fraction. 2 over 1 is the reciprocal of a half, and a half is the reciprocal of 2 over 1. They just change numerator and denominators to get the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 over 2. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by a half. We're going to get 1 times 2 is 2 over 2 times 1 is 2. So now we have 1x. And on this side, we're going to get 8 times 1 is 8 over 1 times 2 is 2. 8 halves is 4. So what I did in this video was I skipped this part to save time and went straight into division. So I'm using the multiplication property of equality 
I'm just skipping a step because I know what I'm doing and I can go faster now. So instead of multiplying both sides by the reciprocal, I just divide both sides by the coefficient, 2. See? That's what we did here. We just divide both sides by that 2. We're going to get a 4. It's the same thing. We're just going quicker by using the division. See? Now what's really important is sometimes you do want to multiply by the reciprocal. If you have 1 third n equals 2, we can write the 2 as a 2 over 1 and flip this around to its reciprocal of 3 over 1 and, divide, and multiply both sides of the equation by that 3 over 1. See? So when you have a fraction coefficient, it is better to use multiplication of the reciprocal on each side. So we get 3 over 3, which is 1n, and this side is 2 times 3 is 6 over 1. So we know n equals 6. So if you multiply 1 third times 6, it'll equal 2. If there's no fraction and you got whole numbers, even decimals, you can just divide both sides of an equation by the same amount and both sides will remain equal and you'll be able to solve for the variable. If there's a fraction, then you are going to want to use the reciprocal and multiply both sides of the equation for the multiplication property of equality. All right? And it's very similar to the addition property of equality. Notice that both of these have an addition sign. The addition property of equality uses zero pairs and additive inverses. If we have 2 plus n equals 5, we add a negative 2 to each side of the equation. So whatever number is next to the variable, that's the one that we use to get rid of, all right? Because we're trying to isolate and get that variable all to itself. If you have a positive 2 and take away 2, we get a 0. We've eliminated it. So now we have n equals 3. And if we have n minus 5 equals 2, we add a positive 5 to each side to get rid of this and eliminate it and get the n by itself. So we have n equals 7. See? Very similar. So we can find unknown factors, letters of the alphabet, that are in an equation or a word problem by using the multiplication, of, mul multiplication property of equality by either multiplying with reciprocals on each side of the equation or just dividing, if there's whole numbers, dividing each side of the equation by that coefficient, that number in front of the variable. All right? I hope this was helpful. And if you want to see more videos that talk about this, check the description because there's going to be links, all right, to help you out. I'll see you. Bye.